What's up, people? Talking a little bit of WWE 2K15. The game actually comes out on 360 and PlayStation 3 on Tuesday, October 28th. So the trailer that you're looking at now is actually the next gen version that doesn't come out until November 18th. Uh, so I went through just I took out the live action parts and just showed some of the video, you know, just the video game aspects of it. Uh, as you can see, graphics look amazing, all of that. I've mentioned before that I've actually had a chance to play the game on two different occasions. So um, yeah, it 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 you know, it, it's good. It looks great. It looks great. Plays great. I guess the only issue that I would have is um, I'm still waiting to see what's up with the creation suite, which we don't know as of yet. I thought that might get announced this past Friday, but uh, instead there were um, some other things that were talked about as opposed to that, which those were were, were pretty decent too. We saw um, the trailer for uh or the this new episode called what a maneuver um and it's a i guess it's going to be like a regular show that they uh, regular youtube show that they use to uh kind of show like the different uh moves or maneuvers that are going to be in wwe 2k15 um and so they actually showed some pretty cool stuff they showed the finishers for the wyatt family and uh they showed like the the apron suplexes from cesaro was pretty cool um, I got some screenshots of that plugged in here uh, here and there um, the other piece of information that was dropped uh, had to do with WWE 2k15 on PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 which it, up to this point we didn't know anything about the game at all how it was going to be differentiated between you know the uh, the next gen version or what have you so on friday we learned there is going to be an exclusive mode called uh who got nxt or who got next and you'll be able to play with um, five current or former nxt superstars it's rusev Corey graves adrian neville Sami Zayn, and bo dallas so you take each one of those guys through a um they have to they have to it's four there's four wrestling matches that they have to complete now those matches are not uh historic matches they're supposed to be just separate matches some of the guys that they fight in those four fights are are the guys who they've actually faced before but um it's not like you're recreating a past match once you or if you're able to um complete all four you will open up uh, all four matches for you know you know, once you're able to complete all four matches for you know each guy or one of the guys, you unlock what's called the proven ground, which is this year's equivalent of the beat the streak mode that was in WWE 2K14. In beat the streak, you had to beat the under like a souped up version of the Undertaker. This year, you had to beat a souped up version of John Cena. Uh, if you're able to do it with all four guys, beat them with all four guys, you unlock some special uh, things. We haven't really learned totally about those. Um, but we do know, based off Brian Williams, the senior producer, he announced that um, if you're able to make John Cena submit, you'll get a special bonus. So it doesn't sound as if it's a humongous mode in itself so it's, i don't think it's going to be a lot of hours that need you know needed to be uh invested to go through this entire mode but let's let's be real i mean it's last generation so it's current generation we know that the majority of the efforts for all gaming companies right now is being devoted to playstation 4 and xbox one i know a lot of people may not have made the jump yet but those people can't expect to have the same level of support on their systems as there's going to have. Is, there's going to be devoted to the new systems. That's just not the nature of technology. It just don't work that way. So I think that it's actually pretty cool that a whole separate mode that is, you know, is going to be exclusive to the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 is even going to be available. So, you know, I I, I think that's pretty cool. And not to mention that 2k showcase which is the main uh single player campaign is still going to be included in the game so you're still going to have that ability to go through the different feuds and all of that sort of thing starting off with cm punk john cena and triple h uh sean michaels so i think we still have to like i said we still have to find out what's going to be the deal in regards to the 
uh, creation suite because obviously we know that's a major major component in any uh, wrestling game so we don't know if it's going to mirror what we got last year in 2k14 uh, we especially don't know if it's going to be verbose at all on uh, next gen from what i saw it didn't look like it would be but then again i was only looking at the creative wrestler options within my career which is not in the ps3 and xbox 360 version so i was just looking at that so if that's an indication of what's going to be available in the overall create creation suite for just any creative wrestler then it's going to be a little bit limited um a key thing is are you gonna is we're we gonna be able to have community creations i would think that you're going to have community creations only because of the invasion feature for my career where you can actually import a guy so if somebody is you know creates a, 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 a one of their own superstars and is going through their own my career you can import that guy into your own storyline so because you have that functionality it would appear that you would also have that you know ability to just download guys create a wrestler so i don't know we'll find out for sure coming up shortly i'm sure like probably in the next week or two but that's what I have so far in regards to WWE 2K15. I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe. Follow. Peace.